So where's Tag now? He's with the doctors at the DOD. And apparently they're taking really good care of him. See, I did this, Joe. I had a team analyze that cell phone footage. Your heat vision caused a blast, but there was another material present, a yellow phosphorescence. We think that may have triggered the boy's metahuman development. Can we see him? Well, son, DOD protocols are pretty strict. 24-7 monitoring, cover stories, transferring. What your grandpa's trying to say is that he's going to go to a special school for kids with these sorts of abilities. Wait, there's a special school for kids with powers? It's pretty cool. No, it's not. How many of these kids are there? That's classified. But let's just say... Look, guys, we have to be clear on something. Why did you wait so long to use the ELT? Why didn't you call me the minute you knew something was wrong? Look, I may have misspoke. Misspoke? You cannot tell the boys not to come to me for help. My point was to help them see the life and death stakes of your job. My job is I'm their dad. That's my job. You're not just their dad. You're the most important person in the world. And now that they know that, they need to respect the obligation that comes with it. I have to respect that obligation. Me. And believe me, I live with it every day. Then act like it. Stop! Stop it! This is the same toxic honor above all else crap you used to pull on me when I was a kid. Lois, please, this isn't about us. No, it's about you and your parenting choices and how they sucked then and they still suck and we're not gonna be applying them to our boys. I made a choice to dedicate my life to the armed service. You could have done both. That's what Clark is doing and I see him struggle with it every day. So how dare you tell him he can't be the father he is because you never bothered to give it a go. You keep pushing us, you won't be welcome here anymore. Fine. I'll get my things. I have a long drive ahead of me. <laughs>